Good morning, everybody. Oh, it's about 5.30, I guess. It's a uh, Wednesday, they tell me. <laughs> I love losing track of time out here because it goes by too damn fast. Oh, uh, the whip over there, he went out to Jelly Roll and Kid Rock last night. I'm sure he had a good time. We didn't see him because we were sitting around the camp last night. And matter of fact, some of the guys went and got some more alcohol. But before they got back, it rained. Well, it does that in South Dakota. It rains. It gets hot. It blows. The wind blows. It hails. It does everything. And you got to take it as it is. Because if you ain't here having a good time, no matter the weather, uh, you probably won't come back. I've been here in all kinds of weather. I come back all the time. Not coming back next year, guys. I, I have so many of you guys that always say, well, I'll see you next year. Can't make it next year. Well, boys and girls, I won't see you next year. I'll miss it. I'll miss the folks. But some of the folks are going to come out to my house. We're going to go do some traveling on the West Coast. Uh, Oregon. I don't like going into California. Just too damned expensive down there. Uh, Augie's actually thinking about moving out of California. So, oh, I, I'd love to have him move to my my town. We could use a good fella in my town. It's supposed to be nice today, but I bet there's going to be showers off and on. That's supposed to happen also. We're walking right now down towards uh, the town, uh, the uh, bandstand, but we're not going to go that far. Yesterday, uh, Augie's broke, bike broke, and he says, well, it's been doing that since I left, before I left from California. I said, son, don't you think you ought to fix that? I mean, he changed his oil here. He, he, he takes good care of his bike. Uh, he, he changes his oil every 3,000 miles. It don't matter if he's on the road or what. But he does. Let's walk this way. Heck, let's go this way. So he changes his oil here. He's bought tires here. But uh, his bike broke. And it was... The ignition itself kept going off and on. Somebody told him it was the uh, fuel line. Well, it wasn't his fuel line. I knew that right off the bat. Uh, we were doing a loop, and he called me and told me, and he says he, somebody next to him said it was his fuel line because. It, it wouldn't start, it'd go, then it would stop all of a sudden, and no matter where, it'd just stop. And this guy says, well, you got a clogged fuel line, you need to replace all that. It was, a, it was somebody trying to be helpful. But you think when it's... Uh, your, your bike is just going down the road, and it just shuts off. And it has... Uh, the lights go off, motor goes off, well, them lights going off, it's electrical. It ain't fuel. I knew that right off the bat. And uh, I'm trying to think of what could it be. Coil. Uh, loose wire. That was my first thought, loose wire. But let me give you a shot here. Not as many people here. And this is, uh, like I said, Wednesday. So it should be full. It'll start getting... Less full today. People start leaving. 
So, uh, that's where I usually take the picture for him. Anyway, we, uh, he's gonna head out to, uh, Tell the Dragon. That boy rides. Going from California to Tell the Dragon. He's going up to Milwaukee. He's gonna make a run. And he wasn't gonna stop. He's gonna just luck it out and hopefully the bike could keep going and it wouldn't break. That's what he was, his plan. But, uh, so I called Mr. G. He lives out there on a, uh, Mr. G, 1965, lives on the Tail Dragon. And I said, uh, Mr. G, this guy's coming out that way. I need to give him your phone number because he has problems. And he said, uh, fine. Swap phone numbers. They talked to each other, and I said, I think it's electrical. And, uh, so did, uh, Mr. G. Come to find out what it was, we both thought, Mr. G came up with the idea, it's probably a kill switch. And, uh, ding, ding, ding. I went, yep, I bet that's what it is. So, uh, we pulled it apart, and his kill switch is just disintegrated in there. It was in pieces. And it was one of the pieces was rocking over and uh, getting. There's there's the young man right there I'm talking about. Uh, rocked over there and it was every once in a while to get underneath there and kill it. So we pulled it apart. Tried to find a part. I told him if you can't find a part, get some super glue. We'll fix. We'll work on it. So that's what we did. Tore it apart, super glued it because he couldn't find a part. Now I'm trying to convince this boy that that's a patch that ain't a fix. And uh, hopefully I can convince him. He is, is he's a hard headed boy sometimes. <laughs> right now, he looks like he's an Arab. <laughs> I'm just tell, go doing my walk around, and I'm talking about you, my young friend, and your broken bike. <laughs> not anymore. Not anymore. It's a patch. It's not a fix. Well, it, it's, it's see, to watch, guys. Me, uh, to go slay a dragon and get me back home. Did you see what I told you guys? I just told you this guy will put a super glue on it. That'll get you get get you from one side of the coast to the other. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, that's going to be my morning walk around today. We're going to uh, morning, go down and. There you go. We're going to go. Uh, oh, Hank likes Augie. But Hank likes everybody. Today, we're going to go down and have breakfast. We're going to go take that big group picture. Everybody in this camp here, in the camp up where we are. We're all gonna try to get down there, have some breakfast at the church. We have breakfast there about 90% of the time. And then we're going to take our picture. Then I don't know what we're gonna do then, but you'll know when I know, cause I'll be filming it for you. Good morning, everybody. Hope you're having a great day. You know, I will, no matter what. And Sturgis, South Dakota, at Hog Heaven. Bye, everybody. Subscribe.